do have the ability to, to make plays in certain situations. Um, you know, I'm not like Chris Tang who can create entirely on his own. Um, you know, I need to continue to play a smart, solid game. And when the opportunity presents itself, then jump in and make a play and try to help out offensively. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to be going end to end. I'm not going to be Bobby Orr out there by any means. And I know that. So I, I think knowing that and then not forcing that uh, will, will be good in the long run for sure. Yeah, no problem. You know, everybody in the room talked about the start you guys had. Obviously, didn't. 28 seconds in, they get the goal and then a couple penalties. But everyone said you got to get a better start. How do you go about getting a better start? Your mindset is a point of emphasis and focus when you go out there for that first shift. Like, how, how do you go about correcting that? Yeah, well, obviously the start was something that we didn't, um, you know, wasn't wasn't a great thing. Uh, you know, what it was 20 seconds or whatever. Um, but. Uh, I think it's something where we were a little passive. Uh, if you look at that shift on video, uh, all five guys backed off and let them have a free outlet, uh, which turned into a nice outlet pass for them and a three on two. And you saw, obviously saw how that ended up. Um, so I think trying to keep an aggressive mindset through the course of the game from, from the first drop of the puck to, to the final buzzer. Uh, I think having an aggressive mindset and not giving them space to make plays uh, will, will be beneficial for us. Do you think it's easier having gotten that first game where you're kind of feeling each other out, out of the way, and now you can kind of get after it more so? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think, uh, you know, we kind of kind of saw what the tendencies were. Um, we're able to kind of adjust our game based on, on what they're trying to do. Um, and I think uh, being aggressive, I, th I think having a more aggressive mindset will definitely be beneficial. Um, and I think that first game certainly uh, kind of seeing what they're doing definitely helps with that. Can you, sure. just, can you just be aggressive but yet still manage to stay out of the box because that was such a big factor? Right, it is, without a doubt. I mean, uh, giving given that team uh, as dangerous as they are penalties or power plays is uh, by taking probably not so smart penalties is, is not something that we want to do. That's most certainly not in the game plan. Um, but yeah, no, I, I think without a doubt, trying to be aggressive without taking penalties, it's, it's hard. You now, it's a very, very fine line between uh, playing hard and winning a battle and taking a penalty. Um, so being able to toe that fine line is, is, is a skill, and I think that we need to get better at it for sure. How do you guys think you did let Flowers see pucks? They said they want to get, make more of an emphasis, get to the front on that. It seemed like you guys did a pretty good job of keeping them away from him. Yeah, it seemed like a lot of, not a lot, but certainly enough of their shots were, were from the outside, you know, with, without guys going through. Um, and I think that's, you know, that's ideal for us, um, having good box outs, preventing them from getting to our net front. Um, you know, they have guys that obviously have a lot of skill and, and really quick sticks, so them around our net with loose pucks is very dangerous. Um, but I think that um, for us, like I said before, like trying to continue to have an aggressive mindset, challenge them to, to make tough plays coming into our zone, um, will hopefully even prohibit those long shots. Um, you know, trying to cut down as much as we can. Um, we can do a better job at that.